I was the first president in decades who didn't start a war. Donald Trump loves to say that he didn't start any new wars as president, using the talking point to appeal to a large amount of Americans who overwhelmingly oppose America's foreign intervention. But Trump's time in office was not some peaceful utopia, and his domestic policy proves that he doesn't give a damn about peace. First, as president, Trump continued Obama's drone strike regime in the Middle East and Africa, dropped the largest non-nuclear bomb ever used in combat in Afghanistan, relaxed the rules of engagement on American troops, which some say increased civilian casualties, assassinated Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, ending tensions with Iran, and then pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal, which some say made it easier for Iran to procure a nuclear weapon, and released 5,000 Taliban prisoners from jail, the same prisoners who would then go on to help the Taliban overthrow the Afghan government once the U.S. withdrew. But at home is where Trump and his supporters' violence is really on full show. Not only have he and MAGA Republicans advocated for mass ICE deportation campaigns or jailing women for seeking reproductive care, they can't even rule out violence if Trump loses the election in November. In April, in an interview with Time, Trump could not rule out the possibility of violence from his supporters if he lost. Pennsylvania State Senator and Trump surrogate George Lang even said this country would need a civil war if Trump were to lose the election. The truth is, Trump and his MAGA allies are not peaceful doves. They are anything but. This whole thing about not starting new wars is just a convenient attempt to appeal to a real pain felt by real Americans.